Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your beautiful Fast Friday, March the 10th, 2023. Episode, I, I got the number straight now. This morning's episode was episode 1011, or 1011, part one. And then this one is part two of episode 1011. I'm just going to say, from now on, I'm going to say 1011, 1012, 1013, something like that. I'll, I'll just say it that way because it, it so, sounds a little bit better. But episode 1011, part two. And we're going to be, we're gonna, we were going to be talking, we were supposed to be talking about comfort on door frames, but we missed that yesterday. That was yesterday's. I know wasn't. I didn't make any videos for yesterday, so. But today we're going to be talking about waters of encouragement. Just push the number up a day and let's keep, let's just go on. Just change, just skip a page and go on. Now, if I happen to have to skip a day in the days of praise and it's an important one of one of my series, one of my series ones, like say the Dove, the God series, I will do those and then put them on maybe on a Saturday night as a bonus. So I can still have those. It's hopefully I'll have the one I, if I want to miss, I don't have any more of that series until after that Saturday, after the following Saturday or after that next Saturday. So I don't have any more after. So I, if there's any more to be after the Saturday, so I can have it still, still be the same number. It won't be an episode number. It will just be a bonus, bonus number, whatever. I think I got two or three bonus Saturday videos, so that would be the next one in line. That's the way I'll. That's the way I'll. Let it off. It'll be bonus video, whatever. But then it'll be. I miss. Like I say, I missed. I missed this series video the other day, and I hear. I'm gonna do it here for the Saturday bonus video, and then the next one won't come up until in a few days. So I'll have it in line, like I did the last time. I missed. Uh, I missed one because I was. Remember, I had that. I guess I had an abscess tooth or something that made my whole jaw swell up, and I was just I could not I couldn't talk, and I did not want to be on camera because I had I didn't want to like scare anybody. So, but dang it, mm. but um, we're gonna be talking about waters of encouragement for today's. Part two for your beautiful Fast Friday from John Blaze, derived from First Thessalonians five four to eleven. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Um, so, um, birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. And what do you think waters of encouragement is talking about? What are waters of encouragement to you? So, but subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach hopefully the 100 subscribe mark for my birthday. If not, let's, let's get at least 50, 50 or more, 50 to 60. And I'll be, I will, I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me reach that one. Hopefully, if I don't reach the hundred by my birthday, we'll be reaching a hundred by my three year, three year, th three year mark on YouTube, which will be the, the last week of May. So, but subscribe if you do. Oh, never mind. Hmm. So. How has your Friday been so far? And let's get to it. Waters of encouragement. John John writes, I called it the lean green lean to green miracle. Lean T O green miracle. 
It happened every spring for more than 15 years. Coming out of the winter months, the grass in our yard is dusty and brown. So much so, a casual passerby might think might believe it's dead. Colorado has snow in the mountains, but the climate on the plains, or the front range, is dry with most warmer months full of drought warnings. But every year around the warmer months, or around the end of May, I turn on the sprinklers. Not huge amounts of water, but, I, but simple, small, consistent waterings. And in about two weeks, what, what was dry and brown builds up to something lush and green. That green grass reminds me and re remind us how vital encouragement is. Without it, our lives and our faith can resemble something almost lifeless. But it's amazing what consistent encouragement can do to our hearts, minds, and souls. So Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians emphasizes this truth. The people were struggling with anxiety and fear, and Paul saw he needed to bolster their faith. He urged them to keep up the good work of encouraging one another and building each other up, 1 Thessalonians 5.11, which says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So he knew that without such refreshment, their faith could wither. And Paul experienced this firsthand for those very same Thessalonians believers had been an encouragement to him building him up. So you and I have the same opportunity to encourage, otherwise to help one another bloom and grow. So if your your fellow neighbor, colleague, um, a person that's a fellow human being around you, if you see that they're down and out and looks like they can use some encouragement, walk up to them and ask them if there's something you can help them with. Encourage them by, can I say a quick, do you need a, do you need a pick me up um, saying or something? You just like to say a word like what, what's wrong? If there's something I can help you with, what is it? Encourage them. Like, or if you see somebody at a, a sporting event, some athlete or something that's in, that looks like they're, they're not performing as well, go up to them and say, hey, you need to do better. If you do better, you'll feel better or whatever. Just give them an encouraging pick-me-up, one, simple one-liner. Just, just to, to encourage them to keep keep it keep uh, do a good job or whatever, or your fellow coworker, if they're getting they're getting down on their job, walk up to them and say, "Hey, man, you need you need to you need to pick it up a little bit. You're not performing as well as you you sh you have been doing it." So you know what I'm saying. We all could use encouragement. Every now and then, we get a little pick me up, like they call it. So, let's learn how to do that, and we'll and everybody will be better for it. So, what's the most recent encouragement that you've received, or someone else has received? Doesn't necessarily have to be these questions. Don't necessarily have to be your response. It could be something that you've seen somebody else in that same position. And whose heart could you water today or this week? Now that one probably probably more or less yourself. But ponder those by saying this phrase, which I know the words are all on the screen right now, but that when I get the video fixed it it'll just have that this one phrase and the Bible verses. And sometimes It'll just have, it'll have the, uh, sometimes there's a, there's a link, a web link, sometimes to go study this, this article about a certain topic, it'll be down there, but 
usually what your Bible reading for this one today. We missed yesterday. We missed Deuteronomy reading Deuteronomy chapter eight, nine, and ten, and Mark the rest of Mark eleven verses nineteen through thirty three. But today we're going to be read our Bible reading is Deuteronomy chapters eleven, twelve, and thirteen, and in Mark chapter twelve verses one through twenty seven. So. Hopefully those those will be on the screen. And if if, if it, there's too many words on the screen, come back at a later time, and all those phrases will be the only thing on the screen. So that the the little phrase and the um, I didn't even got the phrase yet, but that be the Bible verses will be there, and then this phrase, Father, thank you for the encouragement I've received. And help me to encourage others. So sorry for forgetting to read that part. I, I jumped ahead and read the Bible verses instead of the... <laughs> so I'll have to put the Bible verses and then the phrase. Or I can guess I could just do it like I normally do and it'll automatically... I don't know. I guess I'll just do the Bible verses... So coming up tomorrow, in your only other devotion for tomorrow, we're going to be learning about part two of episode uh, yeah, episode 10, 12. Now I know the number, so 10, 12, part two. We're going to learn about musical medicine from Kirsten Holmberg, derived from 1 Samuel 16, 14 through 23. So stay tuned to that. I'll get to that little little bit tomorrow night or tomorrow morning which it'll be uh, Saturday morning I guess unless I don't get the book and I'll do it I'll do it before try to do it around, around about le- between 11 11 o'clock tonight and then 1 2 o'clock in the Saturday morning or 1 2 a.m which is already Saturday, but, but stay tuned. I'll, I'll get, we'll get to that later tonight, but um, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on. Trust the God and he'll keep you safe and all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. Or, or, or until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell, come back later. We'll be talking about the next episode of the Turning Point series. I don't have the number with me right now, but you'll get the number when I do the video in just a few minutes. But we were supposed to be talking about the next devotion, Checkmate. Proverbs 12, 21, verse 1 was the beginning passage. We're going to recommend reading was Psalm chapter 2. Uh, Isaac Watts was the turning point, and Joshua 14 through 17 was the Bible reading. But we're not getting to that. The next one, we're going to be lingering, lingering in his presence. Our beginning passage is Hebrews 2, verse 8, and it has a, a name, Phillips. I guess it's a Phillips um, version. Translation, but we'll be reading that verse in the recommended reading when we read Hebrews 2, verses 8 through 12. And then our turning point is from Elizabeth George. And in our Bible reading, we're going to be reading Joshua 18, 19, and 20. So. Stay tuned for that. Well, I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after seven. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023, and I'll see you later. <laughs> so until then, me and baby Yoda, we out until later. So have a great rest of your beautiful fast Friday afternoon, and we'll see you tonight after seven. So sorry for, and once again, sorry for not 
being here yesterday, but help, a headache, weather, all different kind of things going on yesterday. So, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm back today. So, but, but until then, goodbye.